Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video goes through the steps needed to get your remote control back working again if it stopped working on your Fire TV stick. Now, the first thing to try if it's not working is to change the batteries. So just slide the back panel off there, take the batteries out. As you're taking the batteries out, note which way they go round. On the Fire TV stick remotes, the nib on the battery goes towards the top of the remote control and the flat end goes towards the bottom of the remote control. So let's just swap those batteries over there, pop them back in. I'm not going to put the back cover back on just yet, there's a reason for that. And just check to see whether or not the remote still works. No, if it doesn't work, then the next thing to do, okay, is to unplug your Fire TV stick. So unplug it from the mains so that it's switched right off and then wait for 60 seconds. Don't turn it on before 60 seconds. You need to wait 60 seconds. I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it after 60 seconds. Okay, so just over 60 seconds has gone by. Now this next step really depends on whether you've got volume buttons on your remote control. If you've got no volume control buttons on the remote control, then what you need to do is you need to press and hold the left hand side of the ring and press and hold the menu button and keep them held down for 12 seconds. Okay, if you've got volume buttons on your remote control, doesn't matter about these presets or the blue uh, Alexa button, but if you've got volume buttons on your remote control, then you need to do this. You need to press and hold the left hand side of the ring whilst pressing and holding the back button and the menu button for 12 seconds. Now, the next part doesn't matter what remote control you've got. Take the batteries out after five seconds. So wait five seconds, okay, and take your batteries out of the remote control. And the next step again, and from here onwards, doesn't matter what type of remote control you've got, plug your Fire TV stick in and wait 60 seconds. So I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back to it after 60 seconds. Okay, so it's just been a little over 60 seconds. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the batteries back into the remote. Again, like I say, doesn't matter whether you've got volume control buttons or not, do the same. Put the batteries back in, okay. And then press the home button, the picture of the house on the remote control. Now, give it a few seconds and hopefully it should then start working. Now, if it doesn't start working, then press and hold the home button on the remote control for 10 seconds. Keep it held down for 10 seconds, okay? And after 10 seconds, let go of it and leave the remote control near to uh, your Fire TV stick so that uh, the remote can actually make contact with the Fire TV stick. If it still doesn't work, then go back to the start of this video and try it again. Try this video at least three times before giving up. If it still doesn't work after three attempts, then it probably means that your remote may well have died and uh, unfortunately you might need a replacement. You might also find that your TV's remote control can also control the Fire TV stick. Certainly the arrow keys on it and the middle key may well work. Also, I think on mine, the Sony TV, the home button works. Now, what you need to do with to get that working is to uh, to try turning on HDMI CEC in your TV settings. Now, depending on what manufacturer you've got of TV, this could be labeled differently. Like for instance, AOC, it's known as E-Link. Hitachi have actually named it HDMI CEC, which is great. LG have named it Simplink. Mitsubishi have named it Net Command for HDMI. Panasonic, it's HD AVI Control, Easy Sync or Viera Link. Philips, it's Easy Link. Pioneer, it's Curo Link. Samsung, it's Anytime Plus. Sharp is Aqueous Link. Sony is Bravia Sync. Toshiba, it's CE Link 
or Regza link and Visio it's just plain CEC so if you can turn that on in your settings on your TV you may well find that your TV remote actually will replace the Fire TV stick remote if you've got an Android mobile phone then what you can do is you can go into the Play Store in there and just type in there up in the search for apps Fire TV so type that in and then you should see there's Amazon Fire TV by Amazon Mobile LLC. Tap on that, tap on install, let it install, and then once it's installed, tap on the green open, and then after a few minutes, it should find your Fire TV. You need to make sure that Wi-Fi is switched on on your phone or tablet, and you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Fire TV stick. Just tap on your Fire TV stick's name, and then there'll be some numbers come up on your screen on your Fire TV stick just type those in on your phone or tablet and there we go you now have a fully working remote control from your phone as a temporary sort of replacement for uh, the uh, the remote control so there you go that guide showed you a few different ways of trying to get your fire tv stick back up and running and if you couldn't get it back up and running it showed you a few other ways of using alternative remotes now if this guide worked for you then comment below if it didn't work for you then also comment below and also if you know of any other ways that you can get the remote working or use a replacement remote with your fire tv stick to get somebody back up and running then please comment below it might well help other users in the future i hope you like this video and if you did hit that like button if you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.